Oh! Hit me! Oh, dang, right. you always do it so hard. I never expect it. Like, for some reason, every single time I say hit me. That was you not even... Real, I know, but you always give it to me. This week on GMM, we are doing an episode about robots, and Rhett and Link really wanted to have some kind of battle bots for Good Mythical More, so I sent Mike and Alex out to see if they could find some. What's this place called again? It's called NTMA. It's like a, it's like a machinist school, but they also fight some robots there. And you think we're just gonna walk in there and grab some? The game plan right now is we go down there, we check out the situation, see what they got to offer, and then uh, try and work something out. What if they don't give us anything? That's not an option. Never was, never will be, Mike. Thank you. Hello. 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 Terry? How are you? Yeah, I'm Terry. How's it going? Good. I'm Good. Alex. Hi, Alex. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Thanks Mike. for having us. Mike, nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Welcome to NTMA. Thank so you. this is where it all goes on, yep, huh? This is where the magic happens. Wow. Well, Everything we're... from CNC to 3D printing and oh, wow. uh, robots and more, right? Let Good. me get you some safety glasses. Safety glasses? This week's game episode is about dumb wars, so we need a war-related prize, and Kevin and Lizzie are the best prize figure-outer people that, that, are, that we have. I've never been in a war, personally. That's clear. I don't know about you, but I haven't. No. But I'm thinking that in wars, usually the winning side takes over the losing side stuff. Yeah, weapons ships looks like the losing team well, we're not gonna get a ship no we're, or we're gonna get a ship something we can't have a ship but we could have a weapon hi. hello hi. i'm lizzie hi Raphael. pleased to meet you kevin kevin nice to meet you pleasure so what kind of fun toys can we show you today we're doing an episode with our bosses about dumb wars so we wanted to give them a prize for the game that's like a spoil of war or okay. something you would potentially take from your enemies so a weapon a steel tiger claw now that, that's manly like me. Another way to hold it, if I may, yes, please. is stick your index finger in here and now you have it like this. Oh, then, yeah, now it's pretty much concealed. Yikes. Now you can walk by someone, let's close your hand. You walk by, you slit the throat, keep walking, say, hey, somebody help that guy over there. <laughs> oh, well, well, I feel like you've done this before. <laughs> Don't move, just hold it. Okay. <laughs> just hold it for a second. What you're holding oh. is very real. Oh yes. no. <laughs> Does this make me look more manly? No, because it's so big <laughs> next to you. Would you like I to like hold this, Lizzie? Yeah. It's a chopper. It's swing and anything gets in the way, the momentum will carry it through. Uh, that's probably a no. It's too real for Link, I think. Well, for Link, but Rhett could touch it. Who's, who's Rhett can touch anything oh, in here. Oh, Link is playing the game. We're also doing an episode about back to school fashion, using school supplies and making clothing items. Um, and Eddie is making our one of our star items, the algebra. I feel bad for the woman who has to support these. I'm gonna glue a bunch of calculators and I have all these little numbers and stuff. So like, if they're over here. They're basically useless. <laughs> but that's fashion. Fashion over function, right? Look at that. It's right on fleek. Gucci. I'm gonna need to put an equation on this and I wasn't very good at math. So I'm not sure if the equation's gonna be correct or not. It's kind of like those Chinese tattoos people get where they think it says happy, but it actually says like, but. Is that a nine or a six? Eight X plus four minus five equals, equals what? Two question marks. Four? <laughs> well, this is fleek, dude. This is so hot. <laughs> Keep saying fleek like I know what that means. I have no idea what that means. Is that a five or a two? Well, that's a math problem if I ever saw one. I think it's done. This looks like robot heaven right now. It is robot heaven. Wanna go back and see a bot? Yes, oh, we do. Yeah, yeah, please. So this isn't like a torturous wheelbarrow kind of thing? Right this here. is a robot? Come here a minute. Look at the size Towering of this. Towering inferno. This is a battle bot. Yeah, how big is this one? This one is 220 pounds. 220 pounds. Perfect. Yeah, this is considered a thwack bot. Thwack bot, huh? Imagine this thing just smashing you. <laughs> push her on a little. Yeah, push her on. Oh, God. Stop. <laughs> I don't. I just keep going. Perfect. Great. 
Just like we found it. This is the Disco Inferno. You can see the Disco floor uh, <laughs> on the bottom of the tail. So this is a tail flipper and lifter. So this okay. actually spins, has a tooth here. We've got the guards on it. Uh, it has some top teeth that are made out of tool steel. Jeez. So just in case we flip the other bot on top, this is spinning about <laughs> 300 miles an hour. This is a terrifyingly large robot. It is, it is. More bots. Okay. These are uh, what we call one pounders, they're ant weights. So each okay. one of those weighs one pound a piece. Uh, this is a three pounder, which is uh, considered a beetle. This one's actually still operational. Is there any way we could take her for a spin? Yeah, you guys want to drive it around? Forward, backward, right, left. Pretty simple. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's a little intimidating. I feel like more like a garbage man than a battle bot. <laughs> This is a Roomba that just got out of hand, you know what I mean? That was me trying to make it just go straight if it. I don't know if you noticed. I know you're big. You got tridents like this. Yes, please. Is this a real weapon or like just something? No, that's real. That's real? Well, you want to get stuck on that? No. <laughs> now, one of the things here, we specialize in real weaponry. Oh. oh. That's a real weapon. Don't touch the blade with your fingers. Finger oh, oils are very cute. acidic. It can cause pitting and rusting of the blade. I don't care if you cut yourself. You, go ahead. You bleed, you clean. That's what I tell people too. You bleed, you clean. Exactly. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> I feel like we gotta do yeah. this one. Thank you, sir. I think we have found our winning weapon. No problem. So if I decided I want to take this up as a hobby and build my own bot at home, how much would that cost? You can build a decent uh, one pound robot for around 100 to 150 dollars. Uh, 15 pounders, you can build a decent one for around 1500 dollars. Okay. I'm not interested in any of that. <laughs> okay. What kind of a 220 hell deep <laughs> robot? How much, what's it gonna take? Yeah, you're talking 20 to 50 grand. <clears throat> oh my god! Yeah. So when they go in and potentially get destroyed, do you cry later that night? Uh, you, you, you shed a few tears. Okay, so what you're telling me is. There's no way we're taking one of those bad boys home. Um, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> oh, man. Is there anything maybe more our speed that we could get our hands on? Uh, definitely. I think I have something that's a little more you guys' speed that you can practice with uh, before you get into the bigger ones. Oh, more our speed. Okay, I think... Ooh. Oh, look at this. Oh, <laughs> like You're it. telling me these are on a different level. They're, they're a whole different level. I told you we'd get some battling bots. We ask him to bring us back battle bots, and this is what we get. They get to go to the school, and then this is what we get. This is it. But I'm happy about you it. You seem disappointed. 